Landing struts primed. Retros firing. Whoa. That's a big sign. The question is though, is it a big city or is it like a small little resort? Town kind of thing. Where the heck am I even going here? Sarah? Oh, right. We got to talk to Sarah about everything else. As we were landing, I picked up a message from Aja. She said to meet us at the park overlooking the ocean. Before we go to the ceremony, I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me this is exactly what you want. Uh... I want to spend the rest of my life with you, Sarah Morgan. Ah, oh, I just melt when I hear you say things like that to me. Waha! I love you, and I'm forever thankful to have someone as amazing as you in my life. Yeah! Now come on. Arja is waiting for us. But first, we should probably say something to my mother. Absolutely. Yes. Speak to Abigail. Where's... <laughs> Where is Sarah's mom? Forget about that colony ship up there. They might be trying to claim this planet for themselves in a bit. It's still so funny the way this has worked out in terms of this relay. Like, whoo! We went from getting into the relationship to getting engaged in like the course of five minutes and it it feels so weird. Like, yeah, 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 totally. I love you forever as well, Sarah, yeah. It certainly was nice of you to think of me when sending invitations to my daughter's wedding. It's good to see you too, Mum. I just wish you would have given me more notice. Or maybe some time to get to know your dear partner. And we I barely even know her name. <laughs> we uh <laughs> We barely had that much time together too, to be fair. Um I'm Jade. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Morgan. Yes, good to meet you too, my dear. If only my daughter had thought to introduce us sooner. We could have built more of a rapport before this big day. We'll have plenty of time to talk more later, I'm sure. After the ceremony. Anyway, I'm sorry, Mum. I know how this must all seem to you. This was a sudden decision, and we didn't want to waste any more time. It we really was a sudden decision. the ceremony small, and involve only the people I care about the most. Sarah, dear... I hope you know that I am delighted to be here, to see you finally get married. It's been a long time coming, and I wouldn't miss it for the world. Thank you for coming, Mum. We'll be sure to talk more in a bit. But for now, let's not keep poor Aja waiting. As soon as everyone is present, we will begin. All right! <gasps> Wait! Shit! This is, I should have bought, I should have bought a dress. Fuck. That's okay. <laughs> We're waiting until everyone arrives. Well, we'll just wear what we've got. It's so lovely to see you, Sarah. It's wonderful to see you too, Aja. This is the one I told you about. I've heard a lot about you. All of it good. You're quite a catch. Thank you. Ten seconds in and already you're embarrassing everyone. Before we go any further, I just want to make sure that you are right for Sarah. 
She's quite special. Hmm? Hmm. She's more than special. She's one of a kind. Oh, God. Now you're embarrassing me. <laughs> <laughs> That's called love, my dear. You better get used to it. Well, I've seen enough. I can read people the moment I lay eyes on them. And you, you're going to make Sarah quite happy. Yeah! Coming from you, Aja. That means a lot. Of course, Sarah. You know I always look out for you. Now, are we ready to begin the ceremony? Mm, I'm ready. Very well. If everyone's ready, then I'll begin. It's been years since Sarah Morgan and I have spoken. And though it might appear that we've grown apart, I feel that we've become closer friends than ever before. When I received the message with Sarah's intent to marry, and that she wanted me to officiate the ceremony, <laughs> I was overwhelmed with joy. Not because she had decided to rekindle our friendship, but because she was allowing me to share the happiest moment of her life. I can't imagine a greater honor. And for that, Sarah, I thank you. I wouldn't have had it any other way, Aja. Before you present your vows, I vows. Ask oh, both shit. Of you to remember that love is what brought you together today. It is a foundation upon which a structure of trust, faith, and affirmation is built. This structure can be absolutely impenetrable if you both agree to love each other unconditionally with faith devotion and acceptance and most importantly to allow yourself to be loved remember there are no other bonds more meaningful than the one you are undertaking today you should cherish this moment and hold it close to your hearts as a reminder of the love you share. If you both are willing to abide by these words, then you can be assured that your lives will be filled with joy and happiness forever. That was beautiful, Asha. Thank you. Did you need a moment, Sarah? No. No, I'm fine. But... I wanted to say something before you continue. When we stood beside that waterfall in New Atlantis, you told me that I deserve to be with someone who understands my feelings. I it did do that. At that very moment, I realized I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Your love means everything to me. And I swear to return that love, freely and unconditionally, without hesitation. This is Aww. my solemn pledge to you. From deep within my heart, from deep within my soul, for all eternity. <laughs> Did you have anything you wanted to say to Sarah? <laughs> let's see, let's see. All right, all right. Um... Hmm. I invite you to share every aspect of my life so that our dreams of a wonderful future together will come to pass. Now, I think we'll just go with the first one. I promise to love you, honor you, respect you, and cherish you forever. Thank you. Uh. I'll always be by your side, ready to comfort you when you're sad, and smile when you're happy. I don't deserve someone as special as you. You had a gift, Sarah? Yes. I wanted you to have this as a token of our love. Huh? I'm giving this to you as a symbol of the clean break I've made from my past. Oh, it would have been impossible without your help. And for that... I'll be forever grateful. With these promises Sarah's of affection gift. and these vows you've exchanged, 
by the power vested in me by the Articles of Constellation, I happily pronounce you life mates. Yay! Congratulations! Aja, I don't know what to say. That was... Oh, amazing. <laughs> I couldn't imagine having the ceremony without you. I'm glad everything worked out for you, Sara. I'm only sorry that we waited so long to reach out and contact one another. Well, you know, there's good time for everything now. Uh, I promise to take good care of Raja. You better. Otherwise, I'd have to come out of retirement and hunt you down. I take that threat seriously. <laughs> Sarah's scary. Well, You're probably scarier. You're both welcome to stay here for as long as you like. Sarah, your mother will be staying here with me for a few weeks. We've actually got a lot more in common than I expected. Huh? So, I guess this is goodbye for now. I wish the both of you a happy and healthy life together. Yay! I'll never forget this, Aja. Thank you. Don't worry. I know how you feel. I'll try to work on her for you and Sarah. All right. Well, this is uh, <laughs> we're, we're married. It, it's a little happy occasion. It's just, it's also weird <laughs> because of just the way that this way. ended up going. I was so happy to officiate for you. Even like the like like why I, I didn't know. I this is my first time meeting Aja. My first time meeting Sarah Sarah's so mom. In terms of like the distance we had to walk from our ship to get to our wedding location, it was just down a like basically a single path. You know, like, like man, we're going, we're going faster than light speed in that, with this relationship, that's for sure. You and my Sarah are such a lovely couple. Mm, what'd you think of the wedding? It was not quite what I had imagined for Sarah. I thought it would be a grand affair with hundreds of friends and extended family gathered to celebrate. But given her history, I should say I'm not entirely surprised she chose something completely different. <laughs> However, despite that, I must say that this was truly something special. It was quite splendid. Just the two of you, myself, and Aja. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you again for having me. Of course, of course. Any embarrassing stories you can tell me about Sarah growing up? Oh, gosh, really? Uh, we're doing this, are we? <laughs> oh, can I? When Sarah was six, I believe, she lost her second tooth. But this time, she actually lost it. Oh. I forget how it happened exactly, but it ended up going out with the waste as we were flying between Jemison and... Oh, I forget where. It's not important. She was so distraught. Mummy, what if the Tooth Fairy doesn't know I lost a tooth and doesn't come? <laughs> she cried. So I told her to write a note and leave it under her pillow for the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> So she ended up explaining what had happened and begged the Tooth Fairy for a spaceship so she could go off and find her lost tooth for her. <laughs> it was adorable. That is really cute. Thanks, Mother. Just, oh, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, your relationship with Sarah hasn't always been close. What happened? Mostly the physical distance between us. It wasn't intentional, I'll have you know. Our lives simply diverged as she grew older. You may not know this, but we had different plans for her when she was growing up. I've since come to terms and accepted that she didn't want to follow in her parents' footsteps. Good. Perhaps. Hmm. She needs to hear it from me. I need to make it more clear to her that I'm proud of her, regardless of her choices. Yeah. I need to. If I want to be closer to my daughter and her new partner. I mean, I'm indifferent, but yes, you should go talk. You should tell your daughter that you're proud of her. I guess we're done for now. Yeah. Anything I else I can. It was a wonderful wedding. 
I was so happy to officiate for you. Yeah. What was Sarah like when she apprenticed the Eye Constellation? <laughs> she was a royal pain in the butt. That's what she was. Hmm? Hot headed, impulsive, eager to rush into things without examining the ramifications, eh? Honestly, a lot like I was at her age. <laughs> Yeah. Her hunger to explore the void was the most fervent I'd seen in my years at Constellation. There wasn't a single assignment she'd refuse. Only it's kind of what we're doing. <laughs> she was one of the best explorers I've traveled with. And I'd wager that holds true up to today. That woman has a good head on her shoulders. You should count yourself lucky to be a part of her life. It has been nice having her around. Why did you decide to leave Constellation? I was chair of Constellation for 35 years. I was there for all the low points and all the high. I kept Constellation out of the colony war, made some incredible discoveries, and recruited some of the most amazing explorers in the settled systems. I just finally reached a point where I felt I'd done enough. And it was time to give Saba a chance. And I have no regrets either. You say if that, but uh. Controversy or some sort of political reason. I can assure you, it doesn't exist. And between you and me, I'm not getting any younger, eh? <laughs> and this tired old woman wanted to enjoy the sunset of her life on this beautiful world. Okay, okay. You know. <laughs> I wonder what she would think about all the stuff that we've been doing at Constellation uh, involving, you know, my fucking superpowers. I'm just saying, you were, uh, you, you might have been chairman for 35 years, but that doesn't change the crazy shit that's happened in like the one month I've been here. What do you think of Paradiso? You have to ask, look at the place. It's absolute paradise. It's in the name, yeah. I can spend my day at the beach, relax with a cool drink and catch up on some reading, enjoy the cuisine, whatever my heart desires. I haven't even traveled off world since I arrived. Hell, I haven't even boarded a spacecraft. It's so wonderfully liberating. Moving to Paradiso was one of the best decisions I made in my entire life. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it here, I guess. Have a truly pleasant day. And I'm kind of indifferent about, like, water side, you know, beachfront kind of, like, living. I don't know if it's because, you know, the, my first conscious memories in this world was, like, in Hawaii. So that was kind of, like, the go-to default already. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, the beach, water, woo, ha ha. <laughs> but I don't know, man, after seeing everything we've seen in space, uh, I definitely couldn't be like a one person for the re like, rest of my years kind of retiree in like this kind of universe. I would be at the very least bouncing back and forth between a few of the safer planets. You know, I don't know if I'd be fucking going out there and being willy-nilly ship combat with, you know, enemy factions like we are here. But I'd want to still see the different worlds, maybe try some new things, not just full relax. Only, only if I was like, oh, I've got like three weeks left to live and I know that for sure. Then it'd be like, okay, I guess I'll just shut chill out in like one area to round it all out but all right uh i guess let's try to deal with this first contact mission where the fuck am i going for this oh my god <laughs> It's so funny how many, like, layers of backing out you have to do if you go into the map. God damn. Oh, Paradiso is absolutely beautiful. Can you possibly imagine a more tranquil place for a resort? I mean, I can, but... it It's a pretty place. I should talk to Sarah. 
Let me guess. <laughs> you missed me and you couldn't stay away. Yeah. How are you feeling about our marriage? When you listen to what I have to say, you make me feel loved. <laughs> Who could possibly ask for more? Oh my god, dude! Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Those words mean everything to me, Sarah. But good fuck this first one. <laughs> if it keeps us close, then I'll gladly say those words every time you ask. All right, we're married. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. Hey, you've got no idea. <laughs> it's probably chilling, you know, above everybody else. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Yeah, we got a big security c concern. Um, sounds like you're the guy I need to speak to. Something I can help you with? Uh. I'm here responding to your distress call. Oh, yes. Let's get right to it then. As you can imagine, we've got a predicament on our hands. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. Huh? So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Uh... I'm gonna need to think about this and get back to you. I ask that you do it quickly then. The longer we wait, the more difficult this situation will become. Right. Don't mind me, I'm just, um... You tapped into the universe itself. Okay. Before we go any further, I need to know I can trust you to be absolutely discreet about this matter. I need to know what uh, he's got to say. Future unclear, Jesus Christ. Fine, look. Uh, understood, I swear it. Let me know what you need me to do. Great, I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. Hmm. <laughs> the ship's full of a bunch of jokers who think they own this place. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a colony ship from Earth. I've already spoken to them. They want me to communicate with you. I see. Well, if you're speaking on their behalf, I'll refer you right along to the chairman of the Paradiso Group's board, Oliver Campbell. All formal decisions will go through him, not me. I'll let him know you're on your way. Uh, all right, all right, fine. Negotiate with Oliver Campbell. Does that mean I gotta run down a far away? I gotta run all the way down to that other hall. Ah! I was a little concerned when he was like, I'm asking you to handle this discreetly. I thought he was about to tell me to fucking blow them up or something. But thankfully we were able to tell him, you know, outright the situation. Oh my god, there's another enhanced station out here. What are you- It's beautiful out there, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, why are you holding your hand like that? Hello, welcome to Hotel Paradiso. You may continue inside to the main desk if you need to check in for your stay, or feel free to browse the shops along the promenade. Let me know if I can answer any questions you may have, or help you in any other way. Um, okay, where do I find Oliver Campbell? If you have business with Oliver, you'll first need to speak with Kiwi, the board's executive assistant. You'll find them if you take the elevator up to the top floor and go down the hallway. Okay, um... Uh, thank you for the information. Always feel free to ask if you have more questions. 
Does that hurt <laughs> when you have to keep your arm I up like that? I was worried about my beach body until I spoke with that lady at Enhance here. <laughs> I read it's so amusing thing about like they they just casually do full body morphs here. Oh, this looks like a lovely place for a stay. Might also be the perfect time to stop for some food or a tranquility. Where should we begin? Hmm. Well, do I still have my other buffs? No, I don't. Where we shall begin is taking a little naparino in the ship. off right away or do you need a little bit of time? Yeah, no, we're we're just uh making sure to get my XP bonuses every like as much, as much as I can. I'm all ears. How's it going? Hey there, sleepyhead. What's the matter? Did I wear you out? Oh, fucking there, it's right there, babe. Please. Sure. No, Barry, we don't. We don't even talk about it. <laughs> I'm here for you, my love. Uh, what do you got for me here? I do. You must have read my mind. No, I just, I, I have ears. Thank you. Mm, maybe if you're lucky, we'll talk again later. Woo! <laughs> golly! <laughs> Sheesh. It's been a busy first week in our relationship, that's for sure. Did we get any bonuses from that? No. <laughs> Getting completely married doesn't give us any extra XP. Though that would have been that would have been great. Fantastic reason for, uh, huh, getting married. Do they make the greeters look the same? I'm fairly new here, so sorry in advance if I screw something up. Can't wait for my shift to be over so I can relax like a guest. Okay, all right. No major incidents in a while. Yeah, I'd love to go to an enhance in like real life and just boom full body change anytime, but like even just like once I'm down Holler at me if you need some help I guess. Uh, No, not right now. I guess I'm having to deal with some Diplomacy stuff Have a great day Thank you Excuse me, ah. you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Sorry, uh... <laughs> I kind of do. You have a problem with the ship in orbit and I'm here to help. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? I don't know, do I? Um... I guess, what were everyone's thoughts when the ECS constant showed up? People were a little freaked out around here, understandably. It looks so different, and it's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. But then, nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one could communicate with it. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be... bad for business. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, better not to tell everybody. We have a ship that we can't contact just floating above us, and nobody knows what it's about. What can you tell me about the board members? <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Huh. Most of them are typical sea level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day at least. I swear I've never even met some of them because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Huh. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Oh, I, I can make things work, don't worry. Take care. Don't worry about us. We're just here to keep the peace. Keep it going. Open this door. 
Hello? During the day, I'm all business. I'm, I'm ready to go when to the boardroom. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry. Even they call it that. Huh. <laughs> okay. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. You're lucky I'm not like the other board members, lazing about the beaches without a care in the universe. Yeah, look. I understand you're the man he had talked to about the strange ship in orbit. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> yeah, the problem is they're humans. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's just get to the matter at hand. Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well... <laughs> it's a rickety old ship full of uptight colonists who think they own your planet. Aye, aye, aye. Hmm... It's a generation ship full of colonists from Earth here after a 200 year journey. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. What? Uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Yeah, this guy's ready to Sounds go all costly. in. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Don't look at me! Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Uh, okay, let's see. Well, let's get some other questions here. Uh... Why can't they just settle on the other side of the planet or something? We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they may come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. Then come up with a plan! Much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Well, okay, that's kind of fucked. Um... Look, these are human beings and you're worried about landscaping? That's absurd. Absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. <laughs> you're lucky I can't just persuade you on every single line here. Um... So they can live here, but they'd be an indentured oh, servants? specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> God, you're so fucked up. <laughs> Jesus, Lord. Um... Wait, why do I have to buy it's the draft drive? responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A 
custom grab drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. Ugh. Are you suggesting I destroy the ship? Oh, I'm not suggesting anything. Other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. You really are a businessman. Why can't we just let some other authority handle this? We operate outside of the Free Stars and the UC. Partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. And we'd rather not draw attention to it, as I've mentioned. It could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. Fine. I think I've made up my mind. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain? There is. Um... What if after all this they continue to insist their claim to this planet predates yours? They'd be hard pressed to defend that claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter is official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Yeah. Well, I don't want them to be forced into being basically indentured servants slash fucking slaves, so... <laughs> Future unclear. <laughs> Look, I'll buy the grav drive. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grav drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. I know this was a difficult decision. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Thanks, babe. Compared to the destruction of their vessel and relegating them to a life of servitude, I'd say this is the best chance they've got. I agree. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, <laughs> it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. Hey. That's not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. I'm from Neon. Well, don't right. should talk it right here. Thank you. I... We don't want to compete with Neon. Bayou's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to eliminate the competition. We don't need that kind of trouble. That being said, I think there's a middle ground. Maybe build up the beachfront in a boardwalk amusement park. I've had this idea to build artificial hot springs. That sort of thing. Okay, artificial hot springs do sound kind of nice. Sounds good. I'll look into what that will cost us and we can circle back around to this. Sarah just takes a little seat. What's not to love about this planet? All right, let's try and get them set up. Yeah, the options there weren't the greatest. I I think the best thing for them would have actually just been they get to take a part of this planet, just go to the complete fucking opposite side of it or some shit, because clearly it's a pretty good planet. It's very, like, very similar in certain compositions to Earth. Like, the gravity is just a little bit bigger than, you know, Earth's. Uh, obviously, it's got a plentiful O2 atmosphere, so that's pretty great. It's got a good magnetosphere, powerful, so that means it, it you have better protection from solar radiation. This is a golden fucking planet, and they're just not even being allowed to, like, go onto it because the fucking CEOs don't even... Like, I didn't even... Ooh. That's, like, I guess my third grievance with this game. The amount of times my character with persuasion, like, you know, specs, can't persuade them to do something else. Ay. Like, give me a chance, at least. Is 
visit to our resort. Your repeat patronage is much appreciated. Is there any assistance I may offer you today? Actually, a question. Usually, when I come here, the shuttle takes a certain route, showing me the beauty of this world. But this time, our entries seem to take uh, longer, and we pass by a lot more open water. Was there something wrong with our normal flight path? I heard the rumors of a ship in orbit. Please allow me to apologize for this inconvenience. This alternate entry was required due to a meteor shower affecting the usual descent route. Nothing to worry about. To make up for this, allow me to credit your account with a 15% discount on spa amenities. Once again, we are dreadfully sorry. It's okay, Viator. I know you're programmed to be overly concerned with your service. I just wanted to know why. But thank you for crediting my account anyway. <laughs> this guy's so nice, the robot. Okay. Uh, go to Hope Tech. Was that a different planet? Oh my fucking god, dude. <laughs> That's a whole thing in of itself. Hope Town? Where the fuck is that? Valo. Well, I've been in the system. I think I might have, I think it's another case of, I think I landed at Hope Town, but I didn't like go into, into it. Oh, that's uh, oh, that's the system that's like right next to Narian. Right. That shit's so confusing. Uh, well, fuck it, let's keep it going, I guess. I was hoping to like get married and then immediately go to do like the Sam, the Sam, uh, main story mission, but <laughs> like we guess we're going to Hope Town. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. Eh, I don't have any contraband. Leave me alone. All right, that's it. Welcome to Hope Town. Thanks. Hope Town. I still haven't seen any of these birds I'm seeing in the loading screens that aren't my screenshots. <laughs> One of these days. And the site is clear. Let's hit that. Up tech. Sheesh. Okay, I didn't expect that. I thought Hope Tech was a different town. I'm thinking because I could have sworn there's like some like western looking town, saloons and wood and whatnot. This ain't. This is not that at all. <laughs> Sheesh. 